All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Uh, please ignore my computer fan. It's just been going lately. Um, so right now you guys are looking at a screen for my new expert account with my funded futures. As I told you guys in my last video, um, I had mistakenly uh, picked the starter account for my first account with them. And I saw the downside to that after I had a day where I made um, $1,300 and realized that in order to get a payout, I would actually need to make like, I think $3,500 to get a payout because of their consistency rule at the time. As you guys know, um, there is no consistency rule in um, their expert account. So today I actually wanna go over a really good example of why I see more great value from the expert account then I do the starter account for um, the way I trade right um, both accounts are very good to be honest it just comes down to uh, one your expenses uh, or your you know your budget um, but also the way you trade or the your approach to taking evals um, so this is an account I got on Sunday. So um, Sunday of this week, I started a new expert account because I wanted to get an expert account, a funded one. And I did, I went into it with no expectations. I, you know, whatever the market gave me, I would accept it. So the first day in this account, um, I made $1,681, which is far above what I had expected to make um, in this account, to be completely honest. Um, and on my second day, which is um, the 6th of February, I made $2,349.22. And combined, that drove my account value above the $4,030 or $4,000 that was needed to pass the eval. Like my actual value in the end was uh, $4,030.54, uh, which was really. I mean, incredible. I did not expect that. I did not. I think I just had a good day and I saw opportunity. I took it and um, it paid off, which is really, I mean, this is awesome. My last account though, to be completely fair, I did pass my last eval for my starter account in a single day uh, with my funded futures. Um, now my funded account with them, which was approved 4 a.m. this morning, about 12 hours ago, or uh, 14 hours ago, um, I actually had a really good day in this account. Um, I made $4,461 today on my first day in my funded account with my funded futures, which is, I mean, this is probably my best day as a prop trader um, from prop trading. So, I mean, this is incredible. And a lot of this goes back to a video I made earlier this year about why I'm no longer trading um, index equity futures. I find that the commodities uh, trade a lot more in line with how I think markets do work and should work. So on a basic level, like I'm more of a macro trader um, and when it comes to trading commodities or um, you know crude oil specifically, I just think I, I do better there than I do with um, index equity. So for a lot of you guys that are trying to make money off the ES or the NQ, if it's not working, you know, try something else. Um, try different markets. Uh, try, I mean, there's lots of things you can trade, but just try markets that you think you understand and go trade those markets and see if you really understand it. Because um, I was never having $4,000 days ever when I was trading the ES or the NQ. Um, so and this is also with the $50,000 account where the contract limit is five and I've never, I rarely actually put on that much size in this account, but it's just, um, the way I was able to do it was with end of day drawdown accounts. Basically, if you make a thousand dollars in a day, you actually now have $3,000 drawdown to where you can take more risk in a single day than you would have on a, an account that's intraday trailing drawdown. So in my situation today, I think I was up maybe $2,000 and I kept on trading because I did. I basically had $4,000 of wiggle room to where I, I was able to be wrong. And by having more wiggle room, I was able to continue trading a pretty conservative strategy 
um, and just making small wins here and there, but they add up at the end. And this is the, this is the same concept that you're gonna find with when you have a prop account and you grow your drawdown to a big amount where you can take a lot more uh, riskier trades and um, they won't be as risky as they would be if you have a $2,000 drawdown. So because I understood that the drawdown is not, uh, doesn't trail till end of day, if you have a profitable day on an end of day drawdown account, you actually, there's like an incentive for you to keep trading if you think you're, uh, if you think that you can continue making good trades, right? If the market's not, you know, going along with you, then maybe you should stop. But if you are doing well, like with end of day drawdown accounts, I just love it because it's, it's pretty close to a static account where the more profits you make, the more you're building up your drawdown. Now, with end of day drawdown accounts, you're basically doing that just intraday, right? Like at the end of the day, so during the day today, what before the market closed, because I made four thousand dollars in profit, I actually had a drawdown of six thousand. And eventually around two o'clock, I was like, you know what? I'm I'm actually done for the day. I'm gonna I'm gonna punch out. But I think there's something to be said about that. Um with Apex, I could never have done this in the day because I just wouldn't especially with intraday trailing drawdown. So any of you guys looking to uh, trade prop, I tell you guys just think about doing what I did, um, which is focus on firms that offer either static accounts or end of day drawdown because I think it makes a huge difference and this is just proof of that. And I think also it's important to make sure you find a market that you think uh, just drives with how you trade and how you, uh, your approach to trading. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm gonna share a link in the description for this video. Uh, they're running a really cool sale right now on their accounts where for the month of February, there will be no activation fee on starter accounts. So if you are looking to get started trading with MyFunded Futures, uh, please use my link and also um, just please give, take a look at them. Uh, but thanks for watching guys.